which I'm holding in my hand right now. This instrument is referred to as the dust tool, iris and pupil repositor. The middle portion of the instrument is the stem, which I'm holding between my fingers. However, the two ends have got different functions. Let's take a look at each end one by one. First, if I were to take a look at this end very closely, we notice that the end is flat, blunt and rounded. This is referred to as the iris repositor. And the purpose of this iris repositor is to move, position or reposition the iris, especially when it prolapses during any intraocular or anterior chamber procedure. Now let's take a look at the opposite end. The opposite end is referred to as the pupil repositor. The pupil repositor, the end is again flat. However, a close look at the tape shows that it is slightly forked like this, forked like this, forked. The purpose of this forked end is it forks against the pupillary margin and repositions the pupillary margin during anterior chamber or intraocular procedures. Therefore, this is the dust tool, pupil and iris repositor. Stay tuned for the next instrument in ophthalmic surgery.